<laughs> I choose my swimwear like I choose my underwear. <laughs> Hi, I'm Casey, also Christina, and today I want to show you 10 of my OOTDs. With jeans, I like to really look at my body. You know, a woman every season may have a different body. So in my case, every season is different. I may be a little more slim, a little more slender one season, and then I might gain a few pounds the next. And I like to make sure that my jeans will always flatter my body that I have for that season. I try my best to maintain my lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle, so I can really have a more consistent wardrobe. But with jeans, it is always a staple for every woman. I take from the 90s, I like wearing my jeans with casual shirt, a nice print, and then I like a nice, you know, 18 karat yellow gold chain necklace, and then I like having a blazer, and then just sneakers, or maybe a nice heel. I think jeans can go from day to night. And I also like jeans that also flatter my waist and that elongate me. So I like choosing the right shoe for my pair of jeans for the day. I also like going for darker tones. And I used to be into ripped jeans. I'm not very much into them anymore. But as with everything, you never know, they might come back. And jeans are here to stay. I've always enjoyed scarves. Uh, I like scarves that like silk scarves, nice jewel tones, nice um, vivid, intense colors. I don't like a lot of pastels when it comes to scarves, mainly because I like to wear them as tops. I love having them as halter tops. I like having them as a dress if they're big enough. I like to also wear them as like a tube, and then I like to wear them as accessories for my hair. Maybe a nice belt around a dress to accentuate the waist. One thing I love about jewel tone scarves is that you don't have to wear a bra. You can actually free the nipples when you wear a nice bold jewel tone color because when it's printed especially, it just drapes over and then you make sure you have some neck over here. Tie it up really tight and nice. Make sure that they don't come undone because you wouldn't want a one-piece scarf coming undone and showing everything. So just be careful with scarves. Make sure that you tie them well. Your clothes have to accentuate your best assets. Obviously, if you feel a little bloated that day, then obviously try to stay away from the tight clothes. I think just girls in general just have to wear what looks best on them regardless of their shape. Well, some girls like to minimize their chests. Some girls like to accentuate their chest. I am in a mood right now where I like to minimize them because I spent enough time at the beach and I've spent enough time dressing voluptuously. So I think if you want to minimize, then obviously you have secrets like shapewear and minimizers, uh, bras that actually help to minimize the bosom, like your chest area. And then you have like the classic techniques of just taping your babies, taping them. I learned it from Pam Quinones. She actually taught me how to minimize when you're wearing a shirt or if you just feel like letting a piece of clothing fall flat like that, like drape really smoothly and nicely. But then there are moments where we like to accentuate. So when I work with Adrienne Concepcion, she actually helps me with my shapewear. You wanna make sure to plump them up properly, wear the right stickies. And there's a lot of shapewear and a lot of stickies that really kind of like, they, you stick them on and it lifts it up, even if you have this open. <laughs> there's a lot of secrets. It depends if you want to minimize or if you want a full on look. My preference depends on the occasion. Just because you have them doesn't mean you always have to flaunt them. It depends on the look you're going for. I like having like a small cinched waist and then it helps to accentuate that. So then it makes you look longer and it can also go from day to night. What I like about wide-legged trousers is I like wearing heels with them or booties with a heel. I also love that you can really kind of wear a more minimal top and a sleeker sort of upper look and then it can go from day to night. So you can wear it to the office, you can wear it casually, or you can also wear it to like a, a more dressy evening event. 
when I go shopping and sometimes I look for a nice piece or a nice bikini or a nice like good swimwear sometimes I think when I see the print or the colors first of all as with anything you make sure that the colors suit your tone my favorite accessory at the beach or for summer is tanned skin bronzed skin um, is my favorite accessory so I make sure to bring on the jewel tones as usual if I don't find a print that I like I feel like the prints generic it's been seen before I would much rather go for a monochromatic solid color like a nice like wine red or a nice like neon pink or just with anything <laughs> I choose my swimwear like I choose my underwear <laughs> It gives you a really sleek look. You can play around with accessories when you wear monochromes. I love jewelry. I love jewelry design. I have my own jewelry brand, Avec Moi by Christina Fine Jewelry, and I love making the jewelry stand out. I like to make sure that what really seals and makes the look is the way you wear your hair. So for me personally, if you have a crop top situation, you want to make sure that for the day your tummy's flat and you know I don't really believe in wearing crop tops when you have like a big tummy that day or you're bloated as we women can be at certain times in the month. With crop tops, I like having a vibe. Crop tops are vibey, so your hair has to be vibey. So it's what happens here and with your face like I wouldn't wear a strong lip exactly if I'm wearing a crop top the most I would do is wear like winged eyeliner and then keep it simple up top so then you have like a nice layering of necklaces or stacking rings like really nice minimalist jewelry and then maybe one statement piece that you can layer your necklaces maybe a, a high-waisted pant nothing that shows too much torso Oh, I like to look elongated. I like to wear my hair simple when I do my cords and when I play around with print. Well, unless you're maximalist, I like to have a balance whenever I play and dress up or play dress up. And then obviously, you know, you choose the right purse. You have to walk out the door and check that you're not doing too much because you want your cords to shine. Even if you're wearing something that stands out, if you can't carry it and you don't believe that you should be wearing it, then don't wear it. Because it's really about the attitude. You could be wearing something that looks super subtle and bland or no known like message whatsoever. And yet, because of your attitude and how you wear it and your vibe yourself, it becomes a look. So if you don't vibe with what you're wearing, don't go for it. It's all about the vibe. All right, guys, well, this has been Casey, also Christina, and I hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 OOTD tips. I'll see you soon. Stay safe, stay healthy, and love to you. <laughs>